welcome to its rafiq one of my subscriber asked uh, me to do this program please upload array sourcing prime number and maximum i didn't understood the question maximum what does it means is it uh, sourcing from the array or to find out from two three numbers so let's see first how we can source elements from an array for that uh, for this video i'm going to use mobile only as a um, maximum many of you are doing uh, practical practice from mobile only so i am also doing it from mobile next video i am going to use computer so first coding cnc will open we'll take a new file for that menu we'll reset this file only previous file and uh, there are by default two lines will be there print f hello world and return zero we'll remove these two line now we'll write int size and we'll take it from the user first print f here we'll write enter the size of the array i am here writing at present only size not going to write a complete sentence it will take time now we'll have to read for that we are going to write scan f function and for that we are going to write scan f function and here we'll give percent d because we are accepting integers so percent d and it will stored inside the variable size so m percent size now we will declare array for that we'll write int a r r within square bracket we will write size then one more variable index for that i and some other variable also we can keep or we just can skip or we can write this flag equal zero means if we found any element inside the array we'll make the value of flag to one and if we don't found anything will the flag will be remain zero only okay this will be the logic now we are going to take input to the array for that for loop four and the uh, same thing so i equal zero i equal zero semicolon again i less than size again semicolon i plus plus now we'll go to next line here curly braces and inside the bracket we are going to write print f statement print f enter percentage d element slash n and in place of percent d we are going to display the value of i plus one because as we'll uh, if we give i only i then what happened uh, we will if we give only i then uh, the value will be zero it will come like that enter zero element but we have to display we want to display the value as enter percent d means uh, first element for that reason i plus one now scanf statement scanf will write percent d first percent d and we are going to store this value inside arr within square bracket i means at first it will be ar0 then ar1 ar2 and so on so this part uh, first we'll check whether it accepting input or not run size let the size be 5 enter element 1 2 something is wrong that's why we got this mistake now let's search the mistake we forgot to give m person symbol because while we are using scanf 
this symbol must be used with variable now again we'll run enter the size of the array let be 3 first element 6 second element 7 third element 3 program finished so this part done now we are going to use the searching part and for searching we need one more variable that where we'll store the value once what user want to search that we are going to use stored inside this value so we'll take one more variable that will be n and this n value will take from the user so printf enter the number to be search then slash n now next line we'll scan the number scan f here percent d and we are going to store the value inside the variable and percent n now we are going to compare the value elements of the array with n means first we'll need for loop so we'll write the for loop first for i equal it is 0 semicolon i less than size semicolon i plus plus and inside for loop we are going to uh, compare we are going to compare the value or uh, elements of the array with n so we will write if inside if we will write arr within square bracket i means from the first element only we are going to write this one double equal n means if the value matched then we will write for just one statement is there so curly braces is not necessary but if you want to i think better to give the bracket so we'll write here flag equal one means if we found a value then we'll change the value of flag into one now again we are going to use a if statement if flag equal one then we are going to print that printf percentage d found and instead in place of d we are going to display the value of n and if it is not found so we'll write else and here inside the bracket we'll write printf statement percentage d not found and the value of percent this d will be n at last return 0 semicolon so this is our complete program you can see here this is our complete program now let's run the program run enter the size 5 now Five. Now I'll enter the elements 7, 4, 9, 2, 5. Okay. Now I want to search the element 4. Let me enter 4. So it's came as 4 found. Let's run one more time. Size. We'll give the sizes now 4. The elements 8, 7, 5. 0 now i want to search 3 now uh, please keep in uh, please mind i have not entered 3 inside the array so let found let's try to search 3 so it can 3 not found so this way we can write this program we can search an element 
inside the array and uh, for prime we can do the same thing how we can uh, check whether a number is prime or not for that we can write this program first uh, we'll take a new this file let it be uh, save i'll give the file name is uh, array searching now i will take a new file so reset and uh, first i am going to take variables int and this user will enter which we are going to check and for index we will take i i think that's uh, this much will be enough now we are going to use for loop this printf line is not required we will remove it we are going to use for loop for here we'll write i equal to we are going to divide it from 2 because any number can be divided by 1 so we are not keeping 1 here otherwise we'll all the numbers will be displayed as not prime so 2 and we'll go till i less than equal n by 2 remember we can divide a number maximum by half of the number like suppose 10 we can maximum uh, uh, factor of the term sorry by 5 we can divide after that and uh, with other number we cannot divide it so it is n by 2 after that i plus plus and one more variable we can keep here flag flag equal 0 now <coughs> by default uh, we can keep the flag as uh, I think z 1 okay now inside the for loop we will divide the value of n from by i means starting from 2 so if we write if inside if we will write n modulus i double equal 0 means if it is divisible by any of these numbers then we will make it flag equal zero flag equal zero okay now let's see we are going to use if statement if flag equal one then we are going to displace it and that uh, n is prime number so we are going to use printf statement here printf percentage d is prime okay now let's run the program and check whether it work or not Oh, automatically it's coming oh n value we are not taking only we have to take the value of n so printf enter a number and uh, for reading the number scan f function here we'll write percent d and we are going to store inside the variable n so m person n okay mm -hmm. now let's run let the number be 7 0 is prime oops oh here I am not writing n let's one more time let the number be 7 7 is prime now let enter in, in not prime number let it be 8 nothing coming because we have not written the else part 
else part we have some again uh, again let's see 2 is the smallest prime number isn't it but if we write 2 2 is prime okay and 1 it is not prime so if we write 1 here it is also coming as prime so we have to remove the 1 from here so else part we'll write else here we are going to write this printf statement not prime so we are going to copy this line printf and here one more line we will write with flag because we have to check one also no so we will write and and operator and equal not equal one so not symbol equal one now let's see let it be eight eight is prime how oh we have to make it not prime now let the number be 8 8 is not prime let it be 1 1 is not prime let it be 31 31 is prime so this way you can do prime or not prime or to find out whether a number is prime or not prime this way we can we can do this program and the last one maximum i have not understood the question what exactly you want so you can write in comment what exactly you want to do thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take